Hey there, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I have another layout for the Hip Kit Club, and this is my first layout using the 2016 August kits. And I've got one larger black and white picture that I'm going to start with. It's not quite 4x6, but it's larger than I normally use. And I've pulled out some things that just sort of caught my eye to begin with. I've got a couple of Project Life cards, a couple of the exclusive die cuts, and some uh, other little bits and pieces there and I'm going to use this really cool project life card this flower I was really inspired by this flower and I decided I wanted to make it into a cut file I know that's hard to see but I took a picture of that flower with my phone uploaded it and opened it in my silhouette software and I turned it into a cut file so I've got two flowers there and you'll be able to see them a little bit better in just a minute I'm gonna use that floral paper over on the right that's one of the new Dear Lizzie papers and I just like the soft colors in it. I like the gray and those soft reds and the teals and the yellows and so I was gonna try to recreate some of those colors on these flowers before I take them off my cutting mat and I'm gonna use these really cool new Prima oil pastels. They're water soluble. They um, are kind of a cross between watercolor crayons and gelatos, I guess you could say. And I kind of treated them just like gelatos. I pulled a couple colors out and I'm just going to sort of color over this cut file and use my water brush to blend. And I didn't do anything to this cardstock, no gesso or anything like that. And I'm not using a ton of water, uh, just enough to smudge the colors. And I've got kind of like a light orangey flesh color there. I guess that's not orange, more of a more of a flesh color mixed with some yellow. And uh, you can see all the names of the colors of all of these pastels on the actual pastel itself on the packaging and inside the box. And I also did a separate video that went live a few days ago showing how these worked. And I just did a couple of test scribbles with them to show you what they look like. And these are really fun and easy to use. Uh, it kind of feels like you're coloring and uh, you just scribble it on and give it a little bit of water. And actually, after I did that video, I discovered that since these are oil pastels, you can also blend these with your finger without using water and just kind of put your finger down and add some pressure and smudge it. Um, and you can also use a baby wipe to smudge. There's several different things you could do here. I just recommend getting them and getting some scratch paper out and just playing around with them. They blend really nicely. Uh, you could get lots of different colors other than what is in the box just by doing some blending. And the white one is really helpful for changing the shading of colors too. So I've got my flowers done here. You can see the outline of them a little bit better. I did a yellow one and more of a reddish color of one and I didn't really wait for them to dry before I started peeling them off the mat. I wish I would have. So I have a little bit of trouble getting them off because they're not completely dry from the water and uh, I have to take my scissors because my mat is really sticky. But doing this on my cutting mat with the, uh, the mixed media there, it did not mess it up at all. But if you have a sticky mat, just be really careful, especially when you have a design like this that has a lot of tiny pieces that are in the middle because uh, sometimes it peels up. So I had to take some time to punch it out. But I love how these turned out. I think they're really cool. I love the color on them and they match the, uh, the background Dear Lizzie paper that I'm going to use really nicely. And this turned out really cool. I was super excited that uh, I could make that into a cut file. So that's something you could do if you like that flower on that Project Life card. Just take a quick picture of it, of it upload it, and open it into your Silhouette software trace it and then cut it and there you go you got your own flower and I was really excited about that I had to give myself a thumbs up because I loved it so now I'm going to come in and start my design and I'm going to use this uh, half and half I guess you could say half of it's going to be white cardstock and half of it is going to be this floral paper and I'm just going to put that right over the part where I cut those flowers out so I can use that up and not waste it and my picture is going to go in that area over on the left. It's definitely not centered. So it's going to be kind of in the middle of where the floral pe paper meets the white cardstock and then the die cut flowers are going to be on the right. I am going to use that flower also. I'm just fussy cut that out. 
And I love this. This is from the Cute Girl Crate Paper collection. And I want to use one of these scallops. But it's it's black. And I, I want to go with the gray tones that are in the leaves in that paper. So this is something you could do if you've got black and you want to make it gray. Just grab that white uh, pastel. Do a little bit of scribbling. And here's an example of what I was talking about earlier. I just used my finger and smudged it. I didn't use any water here. And uh, this was awesome. I loved how it lightened it up and made it look a little bit gray. And then I'm going to cut that out and it's going to match that Dear Lizzie paper really nicely. And I like the fact that it's black, but I just kind of wanted to lighten it up because you can see those flowers over there are not completely black. So I decided I'm going to do a little bit more of some inking, I guess you could say, or watercolor, whatever you want to call these. And I'm going to do the packaging technique. Just scribble it right onto some plastic, mix and match your colors, add a little bit of water, fold it together and blend it up and flip it over and smush it down. It does not get any easier than that. I did not do anything to my background uh, as far as gesso goes, so I knew that I, I wasn't going to use a lot of water here. So. I uh, didn't worry about adding any gesso. I think it does blend better if you're tr if you're going to try to blend colors. I think it does work better if you do use gesso first because it does seep into the cardstock pretty quickly. And you can see here what I'm doing. I just scribbled some directly onto that pattern paper and there's no uh, no gesso on it. It didn't blend really well. Just the nature of the paper. You know, it's not meant to take water like that. So the gesso helps quite a bit. So I'm going to add this little scallop piece here and I love how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And I love this Project Life card. I'm going to fussy cut that out. I love the past several months the Project Life cards have been really really cool. They all have, or not all of them, but a lot of them have um, watercolor brush strokes and things like that and it they just look like you painted it on your paper so I love to cut those shapes out and use those uh, and it looks like I did some more watercolor over there so I'm gonna play around and try to arrange some of those flowers I'm gonna do the same thing that I did to the scallop with this flower I'm gonna kind of gray it out I guess you could say I'm just gonna scribble on the white pastel and now I'm going to come in with some layering. I'm going to use part of that frame and then I'm going to use part of this paper here. Mainly because of the color. It matches the pink tones that I'm going for. And I'm also going to use that Take Me Away Pink Paisley Wood Veneer Heart. So even though I've got the vertical design going in the background, I'm going to do all my embellishing sort of in a horizontal design here. And these are some die cuts from the Amy Tangerine die cut pack. I think it's Happy Life. I went through there and chose a few things that I think will match. And I love this little bird, but I wanted to trim away some of that thick white border, so I cut around that. And I decided that with all of that stuff over the, on the right that I'm going to use, you couldn't really tell that I had already done some mixed media there or some packaging technique with the pastels. So I'm going to do a little bit more. And I'm going to come in this time and add a little bit of color variation with my shimmers. And these are things that we've gotten in previous color kits. That's Oh Say Can You See, more of a greenish aqua color. And I'm just going to blend it in. And I didn't want to do too much because, like I said earlier, I didn't do any priming on this cardstock. And I didn't want to go too crazy with the water or anything liquid because it would start to really warp and tear away at the paper. Now, this didn't really make a huge difference over here, but I wanted to kind of fade away a little bit of the pattern around the picture. So I just dip my finger in some white gesso there and lighten things up slightly. And you can't even really tell from first glance, but I am going to do a little bit of shimmers and pastel work over in that area too. And see how that seeped right in 
to the, the pattern paper, that's what happens when you don't add gesso. It immediately seeps right in and it doesn't blend very well. So the gesso prevents that from happening. And I'm getting a little crazy. I'm adding too much water at this point. So I'm gonna try to stop with the uh, liquids there. So I put everything back like I like it. And I love how all the different elements layered together looks. I think all the colors are kind of dispersed nicely. I did a little bit of stitching. I just did a straight stitch with some charcoal gray thread right down the middle there. And now I'm gonna come in through with the uh, Amy Tangerine sticker pack but before I do that I realize that this packaging part of the packaging is the perfect yellow so I'm going to cut a little bit of it off and use it as a layering technique or not technique a layering piece and then also I'm going to use that yellow flower which I also fussy cut around a lot of the die cuts in that uh, die cut pack had this really thick white border around it and so I just cut it to where it wasn't thick at all I'm going to use some charcoal gray thread, just peeking out a little bit around the corners on the left. And then a little bit over on the right, sort of underneath that bird and that heart. And as I was making this, I was realizing that this this color scheme is definitely different than what I usually do, even though I'm still using aqua, yellow, and pink in a roundabout way. They're just totally different shades of my favorite colors, and I really like how this turned out. I think it's, it's really pretty with uh, all these different colors, and I love the gray mixed in. So I added a little bit more splatters. I'm going to add a little bit more... Um, with my water brush and this is something else you can do you can mix colors on some plastic and then water it down a little bit and just dip your brush in it and use it as paint works really well too with those pastels so this sticker book is really cool a lot of these stickers are clear stickers but they're colored so they shine and pop really nicely on white backgrounds so I'm gonna use a couple of hearts a couple of these birds and this is going to help the the little dark gray slash black elements pop a little bit more and these sketchy birds almost look gray they're not too dark and if you do planning there's a lot of stickers in there that would work really well for a planner And this uh, is a uh, pack of clear black stickers in, from Dear Lizzie. And I'm going to make one of these pretty much my title. I love that that's, I can't talk anymore, that saying that says heart eyes. And it fit really nicely right on top of that heart. And then this one says collect beautiful moments. And I really wanted to, you know, use a big title. I feel pressure all the time to use a really big title, but... The more I went with this, the more I liked the way it looked. I didn't want to cover up those die cut flowers that I colored and I didn't want to clutter up the bottom white space. So I added just a few more stickers and added a little bit of that pinkish color thread underneath that flower, glue it down and I'm gonna leave heart eyes as my title. I think it looks just fine like that. I didn't want to add any big thickers or do another big cameo die cut or use any big puffy stickers or anything like that. I just felt like it would be too much. I'm going to add a little bit of color to this die cut, or not die cut, that black and white flower from the Project Life card. And I just, like I did before, I scribbled the pastels on the plastic and then added some water and just gave it a little bit of shading. And the last thing I'm going to do is come in with my journaling I add a couple of gray splatters and the date, and that is it. There's the final layout. I really like how this turned out. The kits this month are so pretty. I hope you checked them out, and I hope you get a chance to play with those Prima oil pastels. They are really, really fun and lots of color possibilities. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.